Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome. Today I'm going to talk to you about a very unique way we use the word down and up in English. Prepositions kind of define the English language in a sense. So anyway, what we're going to look at right now is when somebody says I'm down in a way to respond to somebody and it's a way that you say yes to something. So what we're going to look at real quick are a few examples of how people use this expression, I'm down, like I'm down to do something or I'm down, down for that, um, to say that you want to do something. So it's a way to express agreement or to confirm your plans. So for example, hey man, you want to ride to the movie theater? Yeah, I'm down. Hey man, you want to go out with me tomorrow night and see Wonder Woman? Oh, I would totally be down. Hey man, you want to play some video games tonight? Oh yeah, definitely I'm down. Hey man, you interested in going to the Justin Bieber concert with me? Uh, dude, I am so down. What do you think about staying late tonight at work? Totally down. So those are a few examples of how you can agree with something by saying I'm down. I know that for a lot of non-native English speakers, it sounds a little bit confusing when you hear somebody say I'm down. What does that mean? Usually means they agree or yes, they would like to do that. They are down to do it. There's another one that's kind of confusing that we'll say as well, which is I'm up for something like I don't know. I'm up for going to the beach this weekend. So here's a few examples of that. Hey, would you be up for giving me a hand over here on my uh, my calculus homework? Oh yeah, man. I'm totally up for it. Hey, uh, do you want to go to the mountain this weekend? Yeah, I'd be up for that. Hey, would you like to be my best friend? Yeah, I'm totally up for it, man. Here's a little combination of the two just to confuse you a little bit and see how ridiculous this could be. Hey, are you down to go to the river after work, man? Yeah, I'm up for it. I'd love to go to the river. I'd be down for that. Hey, I got two tickets to the Madonna concert this weekend. Would you be down to go? Oh yeah, I'd definitely be up for Madonna. Totally. Okay, so a quick little lesson there to show you how we use prepositions in English in quite a convoluted and confusing way. That's just the secrets of the language, my friends. Anyway, I hope this helped. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll be posting more videos. Share with your friends, and we'll see you again soon in another video.